Buenos dias! Welcome to Hiking with Kevin. I'm Kevin and I'm hiking and uh, I gotta see, you look familiar. Have you been on my hike before? I think you have been. I get that a lot by the way. You look familiar. Where do I know you from? I'm at that annoying level of fame right now where people recognize me but they're not sure where they know me from and they're guessing and I gotta listen to their guesses for like a half hour. Do you bank in my bank? Are you in my grocery store? It's so annoying for everybody. And finally I tell them, I know how you know me. I've been stalking you for the last year. <laughs> We're gonna have fun today. Grab your protein pills, put your helmet on, and let's take a hike. Oh man, I am thrilled to be hiking with my guest today. I'm on pins and needles. If you go to Google and type in Melissa, the first name that appears is Melissa McCarthy. But that's not who we're hiking with today. No, my guest is not quite that popular yet, but she will be. She has such a distinct and unique voice, you'll recognize it from films like Ralph Rex the Internet, different TV shows. She's a phenomenal stand-up comedian. And according to Wikipedia, she is the first Latina full-fledged cast member on Saturday Night Live, and she is killing it there. That's right, today we're hiking with the wonderfully talented Melissa Villasenor. Yeah, Villa Senor. That is, um, is it Mexican? Yes, it is. Uh, I think it means um, a house of men. House of men. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's your background? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people will say, hey, you, you look like the girl from SNL. I'm like, That's me. <laughs> or sometimes they won't know it's me until they hear me talk and they go, I know that voice. Yes, you do have such a unique, particular voice. Because it wasn't always this character -y, I think. Yeah. Cartoony. But I believe it's Cartoony. because <laughs> when I started stand-up, you know, I'm from here. I started going to open mics when I was like 17, 18. Young, hot woman, you know? Young, hot Latina. Hot chick. Latina. And so, when I would go, and it's nothing but older men at clubs, right? Yeah. And I had to figure from, out... From Via uh, Senor. Right. <laughs> All my men. <laughs> yeah. They follow you. <laughs> they come from the house. <laughs> but no, I had to figure out a way, well, how can I def protect myself in a way that, so that I'm not like, oh, she's just a hot girl that isn't no funny so I had to like amp up I, f I think I did it like I'm gonna amp up my voice so that way it protects me and I don't get hit on or feel like I need to feel ashamed you know and I yeah. um, so who's gonna you know get all hot with me when I say hey Brian how are you huh and I'm and I feel safe yeah but I now it's stuck so so now only cartoon characters are coming out to you <laughs> I bugs yeah. Bunny hit on me the other day. <laughs> but, you know Elmer? Yeah, Elmer. Elmer. Uh, it's my boyfriend, Elmer. Elmer. <laughs> Didn't you used to go out with Daffy? <laughs> yeah, I did. I like you're one of these coffee uh, hikers. You know. That's pretty much done. <laughs> what if but, you said, no, it's not coffee, I'm chewing tobacco. <laughs> my spit all. cup. <laughs> oh, look at this view. Thanks. Thank you. You've never lived in New York City before, right? No, I've never lived anywhere else but sunny Los Angeles, you know? Los Angeles. <laughs> so I remember when I moved there, people said, find a good neighborhood. I thought, what do you mean a good neighborhood? It's, it's all one big neighborhood, isn't it, New York City? <laughs> I got so depressed because my studio apartment, the one window faced the wall of another building, so I had no sunlight. And coming from here, I mean, any human, we need sunlight. We're going to, I feel like I was in a, hospital or, or, or not or like a cell or something yeah yeah and so I had to buy a happy light and that that didn't really help my cat starting to gnaw her, all of her hair off her legs because oh, she's just as anxiety as you know ridden as me and so then I, so I did that too the first year I was I gnawed all the hair off my legs <laughs> I mean I was just so anxious <laughs> I feel like this season my third year I'm having fun I'm, I know my power. That's the biggest thing I've learned. Like, oh, I, I'm i great. I don't have to try so hard. Right, you know you're and talented. I remember yeah. over the summer, you were worried about coming up with characters and stuff, and yeah. we talked about a few, it's but. It's like, I'm, I'm funny and that's that. That's that, no questions There's asked. no question. <laughs> You're on hiatus right now. 
from uh, Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. I had a month it's, off. It's early yes. January 2019. Yeah. yeah. So you get a month off. Much needed, right? Very much needed. And when you're on hiatus, you're thinking of characters and ideas to come back with, right? Mm, not really. Nah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I mean, I definitely... That's why you'll last a long time on that show, because you don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this break was nice. Like, the first week I was busy, I headlined Caroline's. I'd go back oh, wow. to... On my breaks, I'll go back to stand-up. Yeah. Are we going to jump off this cliff or something? <laughs> we might have to. All right, this is a dead end. we got to turn around. I hung out with my, parent, my family for Christmas time. Then I took my sister. We went to London for five days. Wow. For New Year's. You got a lot done. Yeah, i never been. Although I'm not the best traveler, you probably know I'm not, you know, well, my I sister was like, that... want to do a lot of activities, like, let's plan our day. Yeah. And I'm someone like, well, let's see what pops up. And I don't think <laughs> many people like that to travel with someone like that, but I, you know, if I see a chair in the yeah, sun, that's where yeah. I want to be all day. So you're not drawing or writing in my journal. You're not really a planner then. Um, well, for work in my schedule, yes, I have to, yeah. but in terms of a vacation Hi. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you been to Europe? Uh, you know. Yes, there was one other trip when I was 19. I went on a family trip to Europe, and we. Uh, <laughs> I was a real brat, okay, because I just wanted to be in LA and. Do you have sisters and brothers? And get the guys, you know. Yeah. Um, yes, I have three siblings. I have an older brother and a younger brother and sister that are twins, and Jeez. I'm the middle child. Um. But I was a brat on that trip because my parents, you know, they want to see all these churches. And I was like, I don't want to see any more churches. I'm going to sit outside. You can find me here. You know, it was just too much. Right, right. See one, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, all the importance of history. I snooze. I just on out. Were you good in school with history? No. no? I, was, I, I was bad at, at school. I didn't like school. I only liked art class and spelling. That was it. Yeah. And I got it. A in art because it's... Subjective. You can't yeah, tell. You are such a good artist too. I love you your. You too. I love your uh, Instagram. Uh, uh, Melissa. Is Melissa it V Art. M Melissa V Art. Yeah. I feel like you know people don't know how dark my uh, have a side yeah, of a you sad are, side you of are me. You very dark and very sad. Uh, yeah, and I, well, we all are. We have to just make sure you let it out. And is it because you had to go to all those churches when you were a kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still resent that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. I will tell you, when I was in history, I was not good at uh, memorizing dates. Yeah. I would always put down on the test, instead of the date, I would say, back in the day. <laughs> when when did the revolution happen? It happened back in the day. Yeah, because it's there's a lot of dates. So you wanted to be home instead of in Europe, like um, hanging out with the guys and trying to Yeah, because you know, that was somebody. the time. When 19, I was like, oh, I was out of my all-girls high school. Okay? Yeah. My parents are strict, which is, they're great. My family's a wonderful family. But I had to but let not it right out. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just not right for me. So how often do you draw? It seems uh, like it's a therapy for you, sort of. Drawing, if I feel a certain emotion that's really taken over, I'll like uh, exaggerate it in my head. And then I have to, I, I'd like to draw it as soon as I can while I yeah. feel it. And I like to listen to music, really sad music. While As I'm you're drawing? drawing? Yes. That's that why all of your, really. your, your drawings are dark and yeah. full of tears. Yeah, they're full of tears. And there's usually a knife. There's a character right, holding right. a knife. <laughs> 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 I want to this summer have an uh, art gallery, a show, a gallery show. Yeah. My art and like play yeah, my sure. music too. That would be awesome. Just like the other side. Maybe it's called the other side. Do you have art two show. other sides. You have art, and also you're Music. a singer. Gwen Stefani yeah. is a great impression you do. Yeah. I was looking at some of them the other day, and man. Gwen Stefani, you on a hike. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of, oh, my J-Lo got in there. You know what happens? You were telling me before that when you're with somebody for a while, say in a relationship or, yeah. or a friend even, you will yeah. start taking on their mannerisms and traits and, and start kind of impersonating them without even knowing it, right? Yeah, I'm a sponge and sometimes it could be exhausting because then I'll forget my who me, who I am in a little way and then I will be like, well, wait, wait, hold on, I'm important too. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I get scared of that where I have to make sure I need my, I definitely am an independent person. I, I know I like my alone time. If someone feels upset, 
I have to work on like telling myself it's not my my issue to figure it out or did solve. It, did it take you a long time to overcome disappointing somebody, withstanding someone else's disappointment? This week I was proud of myself coming to LA because normally once people catch wind that I'm in town, they'll say, Melissa, do my show, Melissa, do my show. And then I'll say like, yes, yes. So I'll pile on three shows in one night and then it's just, and then I'm upset during the night. Like I should just, I just wanted one to, did, to begin with. Did you with. want to do this hike or did I kind of? No, no, this is what I, I wanted to do this. <laughs> this is fun. I'm talking about like stand up though, because it yeah. can get so late and I'm like, I, I just want to be in bed and watch a movie. You know what's great about a plane? You can watch your movie and also kind of watch the guy next to you, mm -hmm. their movie. You get kind of, get, you won't hear the audio, but you, you get an idea of it. Do you ever giggle when someone's watching a movie and you see a, a hot romantic scene happen? <laughs> no. And I look around. Oh, That's sometimes if, or if I'm watching and, the, and a, a sex scene pops up, I just go, oh. <laughs> and no one cares, but I'm just like, this is anyone else getting oh. hot? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I'll let you go first. No, no, I'm fine. Whoa. You're like sidewalking, I think. I think that's the when you did your first um, scene, or your first sketch on Saturday Night Live, mm -hmm. did Lauren say anything to you beforehand? So, I will say, I feel like the first, my first year where it, like, the pop was um, when I did the Dirty Talk, the bed, yeah, bedroom sketch great. with Aziz, which yeah. I always give a shout out thanks to Mikey Dan Streeter Seidel, who wrote that for me, because they imitate my voice, and they like, right. thought it'd be funny if I was in the bedroom talking to the bedroom. Yeah. And so, that, uh, yeah. Which you never do, by the way. Uh, I try, <laughs> but I just have to change my voice. You, you do it as Gwen Stefan. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, after, at the after party, I hung out with Lauren. He's like, we just knew it was your time. Like, <laughs> we knew it. We just knew it. <laughs> yeah. You know what Lauren said to me before I did my first sketch? I did Mr. Subliminal. I was waiting to do it. I had it all in my head. And we're five seconds away from commercial, you know, mm -hmm. coming out of commercial. And he puts his hand on me and he goes, are you sure this is what you want? <laughs> oh, he's really funny. He is. After a, a dinner, Tuesday night dinner, we get back to writing night and we get an elevator. Oh, that's the worst, isn't it? Tuesday night, oh, you gotta go out so to much dinner. Anxiety. Yeah. And you and got then, these ideas in your mind, you wanna mm -hmm. get them done. And then we get an elevator, the door closes, and I'm there with a few other casts. And he goes, let's tell Melissa how we really feel about her. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. You Have you ever heard anyone do you? Yes, everyone, a lot oh, of sorry. comic friends. Can you do my voice? I don't know. Well, when... I always told you, you have the teeth that don't move so oh, much. Oh, right, right. It's always kind of like a closed mouth kind of talk. Yeah, I think it's like, huh. Yeah, I guess I can go to a party. Yeah, I guess I can go to a party. <laughs> what are you doing for the rest of the day? Me? Yeah. I'm going to go to the Huntington Library, maybe Olvera Street. Oh, those are kind of Mexican things, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little piece of trivia for you. Go ahead. You, mm -hmm. in real life, are the same age as Hans and Franz. 31 years old. Hans and Franz are 30, 31 years old. They were born the same month as you, October 1987. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? That's awesome! Yeah, Whoa. we came up with them in 1987, in October. Oh my gosh. And, um... That's, that's, that gave me chills. That's incredible. Are you opposed to using porta potties No, I use them all the time. Do you? Yeah. Did you ever have to use a plunger in the porta potty No! <laughs> Did it work? What a, a plunger wouldn't work in a porta potty but Those <laughs> pits are so disgusting. Yes. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten into? Trouble? Yeah. You ever been arrested? No. I get angsty. I've had angsty issues. I think there's this like little chola within me that does pop out when I do get angry. Like my mom's this way. There's a certain thing that switches and it yeah. can get scary. I think I have that and not many people have seen it. You have that quiet anger? Yes. Like that passive aggressive stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you keep a lot inside, right? Yeah. You get but therapy? I have a great therapist. I've had therapists that are too kind, right. and they just go like, aww, <laughs> yeah. like, make Aww. me feel like, aww, if I'm crying, but she doesn't do that. She's quiet, and she'll say, this is what you have to do, and I'm like, yeah, I need homework. I had a therapist once, a long time ago, I was really kind of bad, 
you know, Bad place. depression kind of. Yeah. Like. I'm I mean, on for Lexapro. me it was. It's for changed me. my life. You're on Lexapro? Oh yeah. I'm a very mellow person. Isn't that like a workout uh, <laughs> machine? <laughs> are you using the exercise cycle? How about the Lexapro? <laughs> are you on the Lexapro? How much longer are you gonna be on that Lexapro? <laughs> What's the main phrase you hear from your therapist all the time? What does she always circle back to? Uh, if I'm beating myself up or like, uh, she just goes, now we're not going to do that. We're going to stay present. <laughs> fear based is, is all, your future thoughts are all fear based. Uh, yeah. But today is great. Yeah. You know what I hear a lot? What? Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> <laughs> but I just got here. Those five minute sessions are not really that worthwhile. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you, Melissa. Via Senor. I love saying that. It just rolls off your tongue. Via Senor. It's true, man. when you hang out with somebody for a while, you inadvertently absorb their essence and their mannerisms and their persona and even their voice sometimes. And before you know it, you're talking like a cartoon character. Hey, Bob, how you doing, huh? <laughs> Don't forget to check out Melissa on SNL this year. She is killing it. And she has a new album dropping this year, as they say. And also check out her artwork on Instagram at Melissa the Art. So good. All right, guys, thanks for tagging along. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you next time. Happy trails. Hey, Brian, how are you, huh?